Hey guys, so we're in the bathroom of Sexy Fish and I have on a pretty little thing dress. Got this cute little choker detail. This bag is actually unbranded, I just got it off AliExpress. But it's like a cute Valentino dupe. Just Marks and Spencer flats, pretty simple outfit. And then my friend's holding my coat, which you guys have probably seen in another clip. But how aesthetic and Instagrammable are these bathrooms? Hopefully you can tell if you watch my other vlogs. Um, so I thought I'd just give you another quick overview because I just briefly showed you guys in, I think, the sexy fish bathroom. Um, but I just want to give you another little close-up because I don't think I showed you the coat. I love this coat. Normally, I'm not the biggest fan of fast fashion. It's a boohoo coat, but it actually is, yeah, really, really pretty. One of my best purchases of last winter. It's really long, you might be able to tell. It ties at the waist, it's so cute, I love it. It's like a faux leather dark red tone and it kind of goes with everything because as you can see i've kind of done a color blocking thing where i matched it with this blue teal teal greenish colored um dress and yeah i think i showed you the rest of my outfit at the restaurant hey guys so i'm back now back home uh my hair's looking kind of like a bird's nest yeah it got a little messy it's a little tiny bit windy and drizzling so yeah my hair probably started to get frizzy but luckily for all the photos and the actual outing this evening with my friend um the weather was okay so yeah she also said my makeup looked nice which is probably due to the foundation i'm using it's the new makeup revolution um i don't know if it's new for me it's new it's from the xx revolution range and it's one of their like full coverage ones um yeah so i re highly recommend it it's really good and i think their whole range is cruelty free and probably even vegan so now uh, to update you guys a little bit on the evening, I didn't want to update too much whilst, you know, we were at the restaurant. Obviously, I wanted to spend time with my friend and I didn't want to like talk about the restaurant while I was there. Um, it was really good. So the restaurant is kind of more like a bougie upscale restaurant. It's in Berkeley Square in Mayfair. So it's yeah one of those like more posh places. Um, yeah, so it's quite expensive. So do keep that in mind if you are going to go probably best for like a special occasion or something. Um, yeah, so the price point wise, very expensive, but aesthetically, service wise, like you do get that higher, um, like more high luxury type of treatment and aesthetically it's really, really pretty. Um, so yeah, the food was really good. I think you guys will have seen some clips and stuff. 
didn't nothing that we ate was bad it was all it was all quite nice and the tofu i had was amazing that was probably the best thing we ordered also the truffle sushi was really good um we didn't get alcoholic drinks and the only thing is i ordered the same drink as my friend she ordered it before me but then mine took like 10 minutes and then we asked it again and they were like okay i'll go check on it and then they never came back and then we asked again and it was 20 minutes later and then they finally came back with it like 25 minutes later so that's the only thing that's a bit disappointing considering i was expecting like amazing service it was still good the people were really friendly and nice like they weren't rude or anything like that um it was just yeah that we had to wait for the drink and it wasn't even an alcoholic drink it was actually just like um mix of juices and what else yeah that was a good experience overall we got some pictures this weird guy was walking down the stairs and obviously like when we're taking pictures we move out of the way like when we don't want to get in the way and we tell people yeah of course just like go past us like we're not going to make them wait whilst we do a photo shoot so the, i thought this guy would just walk by and then uh, he just stood next to me like put his arm around me and was like oh um uh, let's get our photo then or something like that um he was like older he was like i don't know 50 or 60 um it was nothing wrong with it it was just a bit weird i was like i don't know you like okay whatever so i just took the photo i put it on my instagram because it's quite funny i just was smiling in it because i was like okay let's just get the photo then um yeah so he was just being friendly but it was a weird situation and then we went to amazonico which you'll have seen the clips of as well we weren't planning on getting a drink but their menu for the alcoholic drinks is the exact same as the non-alcoholic so that was really weird the ones we wanted all the ones we wanted didn't have alcohol but then the other side of the menu had the exact same thing as an alcoholic version, which was obviously more expensive. And the non-alcoholic ones alone are already £10. So yeah, it's also another pricey place. Only go there for a special occasion um, or like more sparingly if you're in London, unless you have a really high budget. But I only go there every once in a while. And yeah, it was really, really good. And I mean, whatever, it's a bank holiday weekend, a Sunday, might as well have an alcoholic drink. So I don't mind too much. It's just that we were expecting the non-alcoholic ones. And the bartender, he was nice, but he was just saying like, oh, well, you should have specified which one it was because we have the same drinks, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, that was a bit annoying. So just keep that in mind if you do go to that restaurant. And what else? Um, yeah, it was a good experience overall. We enjoyed the drinks. It was good atmosphere. Everyone, I think, was out, like, having fun on bank holiday. Like, yeah, probably going out for drinks and then dinner. So it's a good vibe. Quite good music. Not not too loud music. So highly recommend both places. I'm a little bit tired now. I'm just going to go have a bubble bath. Um, it was a little bit cold. But, yeah, other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed the little clips that I did. I'll try and vlog more when I go out. But, yeah, I was a little bit rushed leaving the house. So I didn't get too much footage going there. And I didn't want to kind of disrupt my dinner with my friend too much so yeah hopefully you guys got a good view of the restaurants and how everything looked the food and everything do thumbs up and subscribe and i'll see you next time